Hi guys, another quick video, this time to show you how to work with the read time controls. I have a small video here with the guy on the bike doing some stunts and let's say we want to slow it down when he actually starts the jump and then speed it back up when he lands. We can do this easily with the read time controls. First let me just cut the video here and let me cut it again here. We don't actually have to cut the clip in three parts, but I want you to see the behavior or the different behaviors of the re-time controls in a clip that is in between other clips in the timeline and how it affects the timeline. Because there's two kinds of behaviors. One, if you have the selection mode or the arrow and you select re-time controls and you just drag it, this will slow down your clip or this part of the clip, but it's going over the other clip. It's not pushing it forward, it's just going over it. See? And when you speed it up, it creates a gap. It doesn't bring the other one back. On the other hand, if we select the trim mode and we do the same, it's actually pushing the other clip forward at the same time that it's reducing the percentage of speed here or in this case it's slowing down the video and again if you speed it up it brings the other one back it does not create the gap between the clips these are two completely different behaviors for the same read time control depending on if you've got the arrow or the trim edit mode now that i showed you the different behaviors depending on which mode you're working on Let's actually change the speed where we want it without cutting the clip because we don't need that. So let's open the read time controls and we need to select read time curve 2. But instead of read time frame, we want speed. So check read time speed. We can get rid of the read time frame. We don't need it. So now we can see the speed line here, which is constant throughout the clip. So we're going to drag the marker to the point where we want to change speed, which should be about here. And we're going to add a speed point. And then again, there. We're going to add another speed point. Okay, now we have the two points here. So if we want to change this part of the clip, the one that it's in between the two points. So we're going to select edit mode and we're going to drag this point, to, let's say 30% of the speed. As, as you can see, this is slowing down and this part of the clip is being pushed forward. So if we play this now, you can see it slowed down and now speeds up again. Let's try again. There you go. Of course, this means we have a abrupt transition of speed here and another one there. If we click this point, you can choose a different kind of approach. See, you can actually increase the time it takes to have a speed change and it's going to be smooth transition and the same with this one. So if we play the clip now, you see it's much smoother the transition of speed to slow and then fast again. And that's it guys, that's just the basics of read time controls. I think you can do enough with this to start with. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Have fun guys.